Okay, well, thank you so much, Senator, for joining us. And uh, you're coming from Tennessee. Yep, yep, I, I, I am in Tennessee and um, um, uh, have very fond, fond memories of my visit to Calgary about five years ago. Um, and, um, um, you know, sad that I won't be joining you all in person for this year's festival, but excited that because of circumstances, it's an online festival, so I don't need to be there in person. And um, so, uh, you know, from, from my kitchen to yours, we'll be able to talk fermentation. Yeah, that's awesome and, and super excited. I knew you're going to be sharing some of the, the latest, the greatest ferments and explorations that you've been doing in, in the world of fermentation. You've also got a brand new book out as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, sure. My new book is called Fermentation is Metaphor, and it's a bit of as a, 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 it's a bit of a departure from my earlier books, which were very practical how to ferment things uh, uh, books. And this is more of a, a reflection on how, in the English language, we use fermentation in a metaphorical way to describe lots of different phenomena that are, um, you know, bubbly and um, um, and exciting. And, um, you know, in any realm of our lives, we can, um, you know, experience fermentation. It's not just a literal phenomenon with, 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 with foods and beverages, but it's an engine of social change. It's a way that people deal with emotions. Um, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's how, you know, music and art shift stylistically over time. You know, it all has to do with bubbles, just like the fermented foods and beverages that we love. Yeah, totally. I, I've heard you speak on that idea around culture as well, that all cultures have culture and consume cultures. And there's that, that metaphor as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, you know, we use the same word in English to describe, um, um, you know, language and literature and art and music and religious beliefs and the values that we seek to pass down from generation to generation, as well as to describe the community of bacteria that are going to transform milk into yogurt or um, uh, or drive other fermentation processes. So, you know, ov over time, our sense of what we can cultivate has, uh, has, has, has grown. And that's, you know, that's what culture is all about. It's about cultivation, with, whether it's, you know, with, with a, a, a hoe in the soil, um, you know, cultivating plants that, that will sustain us, or whether we're, um, you know, cultivating bacteria in a jar to make sauerkraut or, or, or yogurt. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's, that's why the tagline of uh, the festival is is to cult culture Calgary. And, and of course, with this uh, online edition, we're going to expand uh, beyond just Calgary and, and welcome anyone and everyone from from around the world to to get cultured and to experience the, the culture that you bring to the table, both, uh, you know, metaphorically as well as, as physically, to be able to share some time with the kitchen uh, with you. And, and that's a great thing. People will be at home so we can, we can get right into it. Uh, from, and I know a big part of what your presentation is you're gonna be doing Q&A, troubleshooting, because as easy as fermentation is, there's always that one time, that one project you kind of run into uh, some issues and uh, I couldn't think of a better person that probably has more experience, not only from your own personal ex uh, fermentation experiments, but also the fact that you've been traveling the world for the last, I'm going to guess, probably 10, 15 years, uh, speaking with other fermentation enthusiasts. You've been talking about this. You've been troubleshooting. So a huge wealth of knowledge that we're going to be able to draw upon. Great, great, great. No, I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. And, and it's true. I mean, the, you know, the, the obstacles people face, the, you know, the situations that, that people face, um, you know, there, there tend to be clear patterns in the problems that people have, uh, uh, as well as, you know, in, um, you know, how these things go when they go correctly. But, you know, because we're dealing with microorganisms and unique microbial communities that exist everywhere and different environmental conditions that exist everywhere, um, you know, fermentation is not 100% predictable. Um, and so um, um, I really enjoy, um, you know, hearing about the obstacles that people face and, you know, trying to, you know, bring the, the experience that I've had to bear on them. And, and, you know, hopefully I will, you know, have ideas for, um, you know, what people can do to, you um, um, uh, uh, have, have, have better results. Um, I'm also looking forward to showing off some of the projects that I have going in my kitchen at the moment. 
um, because, uh, you know, even though I've just written this book about, you know, more abstract topics, fermentation as metaphor, um, you know, I, I continue working every day with, uh, with literal fermentation in my kitchen. And so, um, uh, you know, I look forward to sharing with the participants in the festival, um, you know, some of the, some of the projects that, uh, that I'm working on. Okay, right on. Okay, well, really thank you for your time today. And we're looking forward to uh, your session that's going to be kind of the, the closing of the festival on Friday, November 20th. And the way that we're structuring this is, I know a lot of people are online, they're beginning Zoom fatigue. And so we want to, we have, we structured this, we've stretched it over from November 9th to 20th. So we're going to start on a Monday night. And we've got small bite sized chunks uh, from more than 15 different experts, uh, local to Calgary, as well as from around the world, including Sandra, yourself. And we're going to just do two kind of short, informative, really focused sessions per evening. And if there's an evening that anyone cannot join and they're registered, then you'll get the link. You can watch it afterwards and any kind of show notes uh, as well. Because, uh, you know, one of the things that really impressed me about you, Sandor, apart from, you know, just knowing you from online, reading your books, when we got to meet in person, I remember you just arrived in Calgary and I was like, all right, let's do a video. And here I was, I was coming from this space of ego. I was like, oh, let's, I've got Sandor here. We're going to do a video. We're going to do something like really kind of complex, really far out there, you know, ferment. And, and you said, to me he says Malcolm he's like I want to make fermentation as accessible as possible I want to show people how simple how easy it is and I want them to have success let's not do miso let's not talk about tempeh let's choose something else and, and we did we did a video about how to ferment wild berries we went out into the forest we picked some berries we brought them home we threw them in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and voila that was it yeah, yeah, you, you you took me mountain biking all around Calgary. That was uh, that, that 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 was great. But but I mean that that's how I feel. I mean I mean absolutely. I mean you know I mean make miso, make tempeh, um, and I'm 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 certainly happy to you know offer troubleshooting in relation to those or or you know or or any you know of the more ambitious ferments that that, that people might have um, experimented with. But, um, you know, really in general, my, my, my emphasis is on, you know, the really straightforward, um, you know, simple processes that I think, you know, anybody who, um, uh, you know, like listens for 20 minutes, you know, can say, wow, I want to try doing that. And I don't need to go and buy a bunch of uh, special equipment and special starters. Wow, I can just do that based on, you know, the organisms that are on lentils and rice or on the organ the organisms that are that are that are on the cabbage so um i really like to um um you know emphasize the like the simpler fermentation processes but that does not mean that like you know I, I, that doesn't mean that i don't engage in some of the more um um uh, involved ones uh, uh, or that i don't enjoy coaching people through them um you know i my, my primary mission though is to uh, because so many people project all of their anxiety about bacteria and viruses and other microorganisms onto the process of fermentation. Um, you know, my main emphasis is just demystifying the process and helping people to see uh, and feel how simple and straightforward and safe it is. Yeah, love it. So that's it. This festival uh, is definitely along those lines. So whether you're brand new to fermentation and you do have a lot of fear and trepidation, uh, we will walk you through that. And if you are an expert, there's going to be something there for you because, you know, we got 10 days and we're going to be covering off such a huge diversity. We have naturopathic doctors and chefs and, of course, Sandor here as well that's going to be sharing. So all right. Thanks again. If okay. Anything, well, I look forward to, uh, to seeing you about a month from now. Okay. Right on. Anybody looking to register, go to lightseller.ca and you will find uh, a link there for Calgary Fermentation Festival. Okay. Bye for now.